我现在是在北京首都国际机场，美国青年艾文凯尔今晚抵达北京，正式开启他的中国之旅。在现场可以看到有诸多的媒体和民众已经在旅客到达处欢迎他的到来。艾文凯尔来自美国的明尼苏达州。二零二二年八月，他收到了一本二战时期的相册，里面有大量疑似日军侵华的照片。随后，他在社交平台上发布相关视频，引发了关注。艾文凯尔曾表示，不会将相册交给日本政府或转卖个人，还因这件事受到死亡威胁。二零二二年十一月，艾文凯尔将相册无偿捐给了中国驻芝加哥总领事馆。之后，艾文凯尔也被回赠了国礼词。Hello, Evan Kerr. Welcome to China. We prepared a small gift to you. We wanted to invite you to start an amazing journey in China with the Beijing Pass. This is a traditional Chinese polling pan, and it's also a transportation card that can be used by bus and subways in over 300 cities. Flag raising ceremony is a big deal, and I feel it's important for me to be there. The flag ceremony tomorrow being such an important event, I think it's good that I go there and introduce myself to China starting. So I got a sword recently. Um, it's like a historical replica sword, and I really like martial arts and I like weapons. So I have been enjoying that sword. I've had a lot of people stop by my store in the United States and bring me tea, or you know, chocolates, little things, flowers, and it's fun to sit and talk with people. I will say, like, gifts make me uncomfortable when they're over the top. Don't send me anything extravagant. I like really feel bad about taking that stuff. I thought it was important to show my respect here. This is my first time in China. I thought coming to this event here today as my first like real big public thing was a respectful thing to do. This whole week I've been kind of too excited to sleep. So how many hours you sleep last night? One. Just one hour? Yep. So I sleep here now. I'm excited. Excited to see how how they do the ceremony. Just being in this like big open square, it's a little windy today, so it's yes. kind of brutal. Some really nice young person came up. Gifts, like gifts, do make me uncomfortable. This does happen to be like the coolest coat I've ever had.